Hello guys and welcome back to my channel. Today I decided to do another tech video and to compare my current phone iPhone 14 Pro Max with my very first iPhone 6s. Some of my question me why don't you use your iPhone XS? First of all, I gave it away for my dad so he can use it because his phone was very slow, like it wasn't that good as responsive. And second of all, there is not that big of a difference between a 14 Pro Max and an XS, but there is when we bought a 6S, which I believe that it's very rare to find it like brand new. So that's why I said to compare these two phones. Like and subscribe and without further interaction, let's get into the video. Hello again, so here are the two iPhones, the iPhone 14 Pro Max and the iPhone 6S. Here are the cases, this is a clear case, I do have a clear case, this is the current one which I'm keeping on this phone, as you can see it's kind of broken here at the top, but we're not talking about this because I don't use this phone. When I did, actually it was very sad, I tried to find this piece to glue it, because this is my favorite case just because of my favorite boy bands. It still is my favorite boy band, period. Anyway, so I tried to fix it, I kind of did here, but it's not working. But anyways, the video is about comparing the two phones. Well, the visible notice is the size, because here is the max phone, but even if I have wear the normal Pro or 40, the size is a little bit bigger because my iPhone XS was like with less than an inch bigger than this one so technically even if i have the 14 pro not the max it still was going to be bigger and that is the first noticeable thing well cameras if you look at them ob this thing has three cameras and this one look at the tiny camera though on this one it feels so weird looking it back then but for design that's it and if we look at the front well, this is what we have. These are my wallpapers. Yeah. You can see me filming with my iPad now, but this is how they look. This still has the... I tried it here. Like, this button. I kind of miss this because it was a cool feature. I guess the iPhone CE still has it and it's a more modern iPhone. But overall, it's not that bad. Uh, my screen protector here is busted a bit, but it's okay. I don't use this one, so it's fine. It's fine. But yeah, overall this is about their appearance, nothing, it's here it has, this is where I come the sound, a camera here, well this has a dynamic island right here on the top, probably you see it. So yeah, definitely big difference in the appearance, in the design, but after all, look how many phones have come after iPhone 6s, till we come to the 14, so AK, not surprised by the design. I don't know what else should we expect from the next iPhone, but I'm not gonna change it. <clears throat> but let's now get to do actual comparison with these two buddies. So the first thing that I will compare with these phones are the way they look right here. This is the app. So this was my first iPhone and this is how the apps came like in this order. And since I have been using these for three years, I got used to the way apps look like, like their places. And that's how I ordered my iPhone XS, which I have been using also for three years. So this is how I have ordered this phone right here, like the place of the apps, which means that I have ordered these two exactly the same way. As you can see, all the apps are the same. Well, the apps which come from Apple, of course. Here I have this home app right here next to the settings which here uh well it doesn't have because i can update this to ios 16 because apparently you need to have only iphone 8 or a more modern iphone for the iphone 16 so here i can do this but as you can see here even some other apps i have ordered them exactly the same way do you know what it means exactly here i have a game it's called color switch well i don't have it here but i have put the files but Overall, I really have done them the same way social media because I got used to it. Of course, I can use widgets now. I do have them in this phone right here. Yeah, my battery is 53. I have to charge my phone soon. Well, I, it won't be so soon, but you get it. And yeah, here I do not have widgets, but I do have this thing, which basically it's your app library, which comes here too. So it's not a new thing. 
but this is probably the similarity i have a lot of apps on this phone and the memory is almost full this is a 64 gigabytes this is 256 so definitely a difference but if we compare them like here is this page they are a very fast response if i have to be honest so if i do this yeah well this one is a bit more responsive because like fast because we're talking about 14 and this is an iphone 6 but overall it's not about the performance and both phones are very well responsive actually i'm surprised with how well this one works because it's a very old iphone if i can say it like that like i don't know which iphone is considered as old but i'm gonna say this one because we have this one right here but overall it's not that bad so let's move on with the other parts of the comparison when it comes to a creator aka like me i do post a lot of social media no matter that i'm not the big creator I do appreciate the camera and this is what we're gonna test also. Here is what the camera looks like if you point it at me. I forgot that this one has three cameras. There we go. This is what it looks like. I have a macro mode also turned on. And let's take a picture right now. I'll take exactly the same selfie. Holding them like that and you're gonna see the results. I already see a very big difference. So here we go. Yeah, I can look at the camera of the both phones at the same time, but this is what they look like. As you can see, there is a reflection, but still, this one has some more true tones, and this one looks more like whitish, like pale, as if my skin is not that pale. Even this iPad is showing it, my skin is not as pale as on this picture compared to this one. So, this is what selfies look like. Let's take a video right now on each phone. And I'm gonna put them right here so we can see how the sound and the video actually it is on both these phones and so you can see the comparison. You can say hello to yourself, how I'm filming. So yeah, let's do the videos now. Hello guys, this video is shot on my iPhone 6s holding it. It feels so weird because it's such a tiny device compared to the Pro Max. I never had a Max phone, that's why I got it. But overall, the camera on this thing looks very good for the phone because if we go back in the time when this phone was actually released, it's insane how camera has changed during the years. But it was such a good camera because most phones didn't have that good quality. Yes, compared to the iPhone 14, the camera is not that good but honestly it's still pretty good if you ask me and everything works well so i'm happy to have this phone and to work with this camera because for its time when this phone was considered as new it's a pretty good camera so comment down below if you like this camera or you like the iphone 14 pro max's camera hello guys so this video is shot on my iphone 14 pro max as you can see first of all you can see more of the screen because it's the bigger phone Second of all, the camera looks way better because after all, how many phones came after the iPhone 6s? The camera looks more true to tone, aka what the colors in reality look like in this camera, which is amazing. But overall, I have to say it's not that huge glow up, if I can call it like that, to, or to say it just has changed that much, but it's still a better camera. So comment down below which camera you like more on this phone or on my iPhone 6s of our video is a speed test i'm holding my ipad because i don't have a stand for it but let's just test both the phones i'll open both messenger apps on the phones and here we go as you can see the 14 pro max is opening a bit faster let's try with facebook and see how it goes there we go honestly that was pretty quick considered to as usual let's try youtube and see how it goes yeah as you can see the six as it's a bit slower but it's not that crucial let's try with instagram i already said that i haven't logged in in this phone so it's pretty fast and le let's try snapchat from the social media i haven't logged in here but honestly it's not that bad so let's try to open the phone pretty responsive okay everything looks just fine and let's try it with safari here is how the phone works I have to log into an account here. I don't even know what I have done. So let's try here the Formula One apps and go. As you can see, the 14 Pro Max is a bit more responsive, like a bit more faster, but it's not that bad. And I have to say both phones 
work pretty fine. Here we go. This is the best wrap singlet here. It's still loading. Let's try the mail. I've never used the mail. Okay. So as you can see, the both phones are pretty good. Another thing for which I want to talk about is the battery. So as you can see, this phone has been used for way longer than this one. So of course the battery will be drained, but it's falling way too fast if you ask me. So I have been filming this video for like less than half an hour, probably like 15 to 20 minutes, even less. And this phone had 56%. Now, I don't know if you can see, it says 36 for like 15 minutes, 20% fallout, which is not something nice. So let's check the battery guys together. So you're going to the notifications, going to battery. And there is something called battery health and charging. So you press this. And as you can see, this one is on 100%. This one is on 73%. So honestly, last time when I checked this, this was on 75. And I haven't used this one. I only charge it from time to time to see if it's working. So as you can see, the battery is draining way fast. That's why I didn't want to give it to my parents. They wanted it, but they'll get frustrated of how often you have to charge this phone. And even if you change the battery, like the actual battery, I don't know if this will help, but Overall, it's not that bad. It's just that if I have to last one week with this phone, I will do it. But probably I will get frustrated of how slow, like, maybe the phone is not that slow, but just the battery is falling so quickly that if I use it for my daily routines and everything that I do, I have to charge it at least two times a day. Well, this one I charge every two days. My previous one, the XS, I was charging it every day because I'm using it a lot. But this one, every two days, this one probably twice a day. I don't know. And if I film videos on it, I'm not going to talk about the quality. It's just that the battery probably will fall out until I finish the video. So yeah, definitely we have a battery issue here, if you ask me. But overall, the phone is performing very well. Here are the final thoughts of the iPhone 14 Pro Max versus iPhone 6S. Here we go. Which one will I choose? Probably choose this one because it's more modern, faster, but I won't throw away this one as an option as well. And here is why. First of all, the camera is not that terrible at all compared to other phones by other brands which came by the same time when this body came. Also, it's not that slow. I thought that compared to this phone, it would be laggy and not responsive, but honestly, it's a lot faster than I thought. I have compared this one with my iPhone XS. But I decided to do it with this one as well, because this one is a little bit faster than the XS that I had. And I thought, why not compare these two phones and see which one performed better? Well, obviously we had a winner, but this one is still a very good option. Like, if you have a kid and you don't want to give them a real iPhone yet, you can use this one. Like, it's a pretty good phone. I don't think you can find it brand new anywhere. I have seen people selling it secondhand. Probably after some time, I might do it, no matter that I don't want to, but I... I don't know if I want to use this phone anymore, like, I don't need it. Probably the only issue which I can say less complaining is that the battery is drying a bit too fast, but overall, it's not a bad phone at all, and I enjoyed using it because by the time I had this phone, this was the newest one in the market, so it was a pretty good phone for its time. I can still use it to film videos and things like that, but probably if I film a YouTube video here, the battery will die. But anyways, it's not a bad phone compared to this one. Of course, this one is more modern and technology has evolved a lot since the iPhone 6 s came out. But overall, both phones are not bad. This one, of course, is more modern, so we get more points. But compared to this one, at least mine is in a pretty good condition. So I have to say both deserve a good place. Like this, if this is first, I will put this fifth or fourth compared to other iPhones or other phones if you rank them up because I think this one is competitive. It's not that fast. The camera is not that good. Like it doesn't have as much options as this one has. But overall, again, this phone is good and I still recommend it if you're looking for a phone. Probably you want something more modern, but don't throw this away. I mean, probably iPhone 5 and the others down the line, you won't buy it, but this one is still a good phone and I definitely will recommend it. 
So this is everything I have to say about these two phones. Both are good and I'm glad that I have them. Okay guys, that is the end of the video. Hope you enjoyed it. Comment down below which phone would you prefer? The iPhone 6S, aka the old phone, or the iPhone 14 Pro Max, the new one. Honestly, I don't know. I like both. I like the color of this one. I wish they could bring this rose gold color. Let me take it out of the case for the first time. This video. Look at this color. It's so pretty. I love it and I wish they could bring this color back or at least a similar shade to it because honestly, I love it. Also, the pink on the new iPad 10th generation is very hot pink. Probably this is what people have expected, but I would love to get some sort of pink back. And this one is pretty good too. Honestly, I was wondering if I wanted purple because on camera, no matter if it's with the case or not, let me take the case out. It looks way darker purple, even on the light, it doesn't look that good. But when you're looking in person, the purple changes literally. So here they are without the cases. Comparison, both colors are pretty, if you ask me. So honestly, I don't know if I can choose a color. Okay, probably a bit more sucker for the pink. But if you have to choose which phone is like faster, mother, the first I will pick this one. I already said that. So this is the end of the video for today, including these two buddies. So as I always, I'll continue to make more videos. Comment down below what type of videos you want me to make for you next. And that's the video for today. Like and subscribe. And as always, I'll see you next time. Bye, guys.